today I wanna to walk you through a quick tutorial for one of my favorite new programs. It's called Mailer Light. I'm gonna show you how you can get started in just a couple of minutes with your first email newsletter all for free. I promise you're gonna love it. I love the simplicity of it. I love their drag and drop features. It's completely customizable and I'm gonna walk you through all of that. Let's get started. Okay, so as promised, here we are on the Mailer Light homepage, you guys. This is so easy to just get started and sign up for free. Like you can see, the first button you're gonna see, sign up free. So let's go ahead and click that. We're gonna go ahead and create an account. I'm gonna go ahead and list this as test with my email address and a quick password. Now, one of the many great things about Mailer Lite is that you can have full access to all of their features for free for up to a thousand subscribers. So this is great. If you're just getting started, you're building that email list, this is a program that's gonna allow you to send up to 12,000 emails per month to your subscribers. All right, once we are inside to our dashboard, we're gonna scroll down here and click on Create Campaign. Now this is gonna ask you what kind of campaign type you are interested in. We're gonna go ahead again and list this as a test. And you've got tons of options as far as personalization. You've got all the emojis here. You can insert that personalization. For right now, we're just gonna go ahead and stick with test. Now, as I was mentioning in my intro video, I love this new drag and drop editor. So what you're gonna see whenever we log on is a whole host of options on the left-hand side. You're gonna have from photos to videos, heading, text, there's so many different options and all you have to do to build that first newsletter is drag and drop. Okay, so once we are inside the editor, this is going to allow us to customize this to our liking. So literally everything can be edited. We're gonna go ahead and click on this logo. This can customize maybe your blog logo, your company logo. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in my headshot as the header so that people know when they open this newsletter who it is coming from. Next up, we can link to some content. So let's go ahead and click on this, let's say, read our latest blog. You can also add a subtitle here and of course any text that you want to go along with it. We can scroll down here, click on this button, read more. This can say anything that you want and of course you can link to the exact blog that you want people to go to. And while this is a great bicycle, I think we're gonna go ahead and change out that photo too. Once that is saved, uh, this is looking a little bit too white for me. So I think we're gonna go ahead and change this background. Let's make it a fun color. There we go. This is great for branding. If your brand has certain colors, you can go ahead and pop those in. And that way, that really grabs your reader's attention. They're gonna know that it's from you and they're more likely to open it and more likely to click on your content. Over here on the left-hand side, you can see this was the logo and content uh, block that we just used, but there's also so many different options. You can even go ahead and drag and drop a video in here. Maybe you wanna do a summary of all of your latest blog posts from the week. That's where this four articles would be a great option. Another few of my favorite blocks are the social share buttons, application, if you're promoting an app, you can just drag and drop it right here for your readers. Also, if you're an online store, maybe you're a boutique or a startup, you've got products that you want to show your readers you just released. All you have to do, seriously, is just drag and drop, and once we click on this, boom, you can change the photo, put the link, put a little bit of text, maybe it's on sale. For me personally, I have a webinar coming up, and so I am so excited to be able to use this content right here. Look, this event webinar, you drag and drop. I'm gonna put my photo here. I'm gonna put all of the information about my webinar for my readers, and I'm gonna put down a countdown clock because, you know, people like to wait to the last minute. So we're gonna pop that in there. I can choose the time and date that I wanted to count down to, and so that way my readers know, look, I gotta get signed up for this webinar like ASAP. And finally, if you wanna make things a lot more personalized, you can add a customized signature to the bottom of your newsletter. Say, thank you for reading, I will see you next time. All right, so once we've got all of that done,
All you have to do is click done editing and it is as easy as that. If you have your subscribers itemized into different groups, if you have it segmented, all you have to do is choose which ones you want it to go out to and it is on its way. So you can either send it out immediately or you can set it up to be scheduled. Like I said, I've got a webinar coming up. I'm gonna want that email to go out at just the right time so that people are able to sign up for it. And before we go, let me show you another final newsletter that I put together. This one is super customized. This is for a job application. I wanted to show the employer why I think I would make a great fit for the role that they're hiring for. So I went ahead, I added my photo, I added some of my qualifications. These are links to all of my social media. I also did a little bit of a highlight section, some videos that I really want them to see some of my work. I also put a segment for my resume, some of my previous experience at iHeartMedia with the Astros. And then I added in some videos, some blogs, some podcasts that I wanted them to see. And of course, I've got that personalized signature at the bottom. So I hope this gave you some inspiration. I hope this helped you out. Again, in just a couple of minutes, you can get that first email newsletter out to your subscribers for free. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.